Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about finding slope from two points. We're going to find the slope of the line through each pair of points. So if I was given these two points here, 6, negative 10, and my second point being negative 15, positive 15, okay? So we need to follow our slope formula, our change in y over change of x. Well, y2, 15, minus y1 and negative 10, over x2, negative 15, uh, minus my x1, which is a 6, okay? Well, let's simplify that. We have the negative, uh, minus a negative is plus a positive, so we have 15 plus a positive 10 over negative 15, uh, 15, not 16. I was looking at that 6, I got ahead of myself. Let's not do that. Negative 15 here. Instead of minus 6, we have plus a negative 6, okay? And I like to see my, uh, my numbers as adding a negative to them. So, Pretty easy now. 15 plus 10 is 25. You got this. And negative 15 plus a negative 6. That's just a negative 21. Okay. Now, is there a, uh, is there anything that goes in between that we can simplify this? I don't see any number. 5 goes in 25, but not 21. 3. 3 doesn't go. No, no. Okay. So we're basically pretty much done here. Let's go rewrite this with a negative out front. 25 over 21. And there we have it. We have our final answer, our slope between these two points. So as a recap, I was given these two points, 6, negative 10, and negative 15, and positive 15. I have my change uh, in y over change of x, delta y over delta x. Why is it wrong? That makes sense. So we have a y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I then simplify that. I made my subtracting negative be adding a positive, and the subtraction be adding negative. Then I simplify the numerator to get 25, and simplify the denominator to get negative 21. Couldn't simplify that fraction anymore. So I have my final answer with a negative right up there in the middle. And then my final answer, my slope between these two points is a negative 25 over a 21.